Fortnite has inspired many different games, game developers and game companies to create a child of their own. In fact, some games have even copied the art style nearly completely, while others kind of just took the idea of a battle royale. Now Hawked just so happens to be one of those games. Hawked is a free-to-play, quote-unquote, casual, PvPvE, quote-unquote, extraction shooter. I say, quote, casual because I don't think a game that is full of any age, Sweatlord Mega Couch Hugging Chads, is a casual game. I also say, quote, extraction shooter because the only extraction element in the game is for artifacts and trinkets. Artifacts are used to apply up to three different effects to your character, and trinkets are used to sell to get currency. At Fortnite version 69.420's inception, i.e. the closed beta, it felt like somewhat of a breakthrough. I was so excited to see a casual extraction game hit the market that I could honestly just enjoy in my spare time without feeling like I was going to be constantly losing progress. Looking at you, Tarkov. After playing two closed beta periods, I had high hopes that the game would do quite well. Although I was indeed looking past the fact that the developers, My.Games, were mainly a phone game based developer. They developed phone games. That's most unfortunate. Now, I can't lie, I sincerely enjoy playing this game, with a caveat. It is not very fun to play by yourself, especially since you have the possibility of playing against Sweatlord Mega Couch Hugging Chads. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with being said Sweatlord Mega Couch Hugging Chad. However, it can certainly ruin the vibe of a more casual game. Now I digress. After a sincerely saddening Steam launch, it was hard, really, really hard for me to let go of the possibility of Hawked replacing my younger days of Fortnite. When Hawked launched, it had been quite some time since they had their most recent closed beta before the launch, so I had thought maybe they did some heavy work behind the scenes and I was sadly mistaken. Hawked is certainly an interesting game, however, it was not at all ready for a full beta launch. It was enjoyable, fun to play at the closed beta when we could provide feedback as a closed group of testers. I think it was technically an open beta, but either way, it was fun, but it was not ready for a full beta launch. The team developing Hawked is sincerely passionate about the game and really wants to see it succeed, but passion can only take you so far. The team is unfortunately really small, nothing wrong with that, but that makes it quite difficult to redeem a mixed review Steam launch, especially as a free-to-play game with a ton of feedback almost immediately upon launch. Not too long after the Steam launch, there was a content creator meeting in regards to a lot of different topics of which I won't really bother going over in this video, except for one of them, which was about the things we as content creators wanted to see in the game slash improvement recommendations. Now this, this is absolutely fucking lootly what we want to see in a development team. Extraordinary. But besides that, extremely recently, January 10th and 17th to be exact, My.Games released two patches, 1.2.6 and 1.2.5. These made changes to jumping and movement, respectively. These two changes have so far, in my personal opinion, made the game feel much, much slower. These reworks certainly needed to happen, though, because the movement and jumping, if done correctly, could make someone literally impossible to hit with almost anything. Not even just gunfire, but melee, too. Although on a positive note, My.Games just dropped a 2024 roadmap. And if you know anything about me and this channel, we fucking love roadmaps. Hmm. Roadmaps. Oh. Excuse me, anyways, uh, the My.Games developers do not seem to be giving up anytime soon. Now, this could be good news, or maybe it's bad news. I'm honestly not entirely sure, and I have to be completely honest with you. Hawked does kind of have money grab vibes to it. I hate to say that, and it's sad, because I've already spent $50 on it. <laughs> Uh, in the end, Hawked needs some serious polishing, but if an old boot can get shiny, I'm sure a new game can too. And I'm personally hoping for the best with Hawked, but I cannot at this time recommend that you try it out yet or try it again. Especially if you've already tried it before, I would not recommend you bother playing it again. Yet. Big yet. Because I still have hope. I still have hope. A little bit of ounce of hope left. 
If you want to keep seeing entertaining updates like these for Hawked or other extraction games, consider subscribing because just like my dot games, I ain't giving up anytime soon. But PS, I'll never be a sellout. We'll talk again real soon. Peace. Son of a fucking bitch, are you kidding me? You spend the whole goddamn game seeing nobody, and then you come and just wreck me twice in a row. What do you, is this, are you 12? You play this all goddamn day when you're off of school? You just have like 3,000 hours in the game? Yeah, of course you do, because you're level fucking 127 or some shit like that. God, go play something else.